Hey, what's going on guys? Um, today, what we're going to do right now is talk about um, primarily utopian socialism, uh, which was one of the responses that we see during the Industrial Revolution to laissez-faire capitalism. So let's get moving here. I promise I'm going to make this way less than 51 minutes in length. All right, so socialism. We've talked about it before. We know that it is that leftist ideology it believes in the collective good the common good uh, and um, in this slide the one thing i really want to stress upon you guys is that the overall goal of socialism is the creation of equality right equality has been what has animated socialism since its beginnings um, and as it says at the bottom of the slide um, socialism uh, it, it became a major ideological force when the industrial revolution started to become absolutely terrible all right so utopian socialism this would be the first variant of socialism that the world actually sees so yes this comes before marxism so before marx and engels wrote the communist manifesto in 1848 and we'll look at that in the next video lecture that we have um before all that came utopian socialism. So this idea of utopia, we've talked about it before, but let's make sure we understand it. Utopia is the idea of heaven on earth. So as it says on the slide, uh, socialism strives to make society better for everybody. And um, the main way, guys, that it does this is through, uh, number one, we educate people. Uh, and we'll see Robert Owen actually put this into practice as he started the first kindergarten in the United Kingdom. And the second thing that we see with utopian socialism is the uh, improvement of working conditions. Um, and we will also see that with Robert Owen, who is considered to be the father of utopian socialism. So it should be stressed that utopian socialism is not a radical form of socialism. Um, it does not look to spill blood. It does not look to kill the bourgeoisie as we see with Karl Marx and Frederick Engels. So uh, on the screen, you see a picture there of Robert Owen. Uh, he was a Brit. Um, he was in fact born in Wales. Um, he was an industrialist. He was actually uh, a capitalist, um, but he was a capitalist with a heart. Now, the big thing that Robert Owen does is he creates a model utopia, a village called New Lanark. New Lanark is in Scotland. Um, I've in fact been there. It's very, very cool. Um, and it's about 40 kilometers, 25 miles away from the city of Glasgow. Now, I don't know what you guys know about the city of Glasgow. Um, my dad, Papa Crosby, uh, he was actually born in Glasgow, uh, as was my grandfather as well. And it is a rough, rough city. Um, in the mid 1800s, uh, it was an industrial ship building city. And to be honest, today, Glasgow hasn't really tossed off those uh, blue collar working class roots. It's still a pretty rough city. So 40 kilometers away from this terrible, terrible city of the Industrial Revolution was this model utopia where we tried to, or where Robert Owen tried to, make the life of the worker significantly better. So in Robert Owen's New Lanark, we see all sorts of um, drastic changes. I don't want to say radical, because when we think radical, we think far left, but drastic changes uh, compared to what we saw in the cities of the Industrial Revolution. You should have by now read, um, or you will be reading, Engel's study of the industrial working class in Manchester. And when you read that, you can see very clearly that the cities of the Industrial Revolution, cities like Glasgow, Manchester, London, New York, which we've looked at, were horrifying. However, in Robert Owen's New Lanark, we saw all sorts of different and new ideals being put into practice. So we see things like compulsory schooling for children. So children under the age of 10 
were not allowed to work in the factories. They had to go to school. And as I mentioned before, Robert Owen began the first kindergarten in the United Kingdom. We saw sick pay for workers. We saw maximum hours worked in a day. We see things like benefits. There was a doctor on site where if people got sick, they could go to the doctor and be treated for free. Um, we see decent living conditions for citizens. Uh, this, the, the, the town of New Lanark, the village, um, the people worked there uh, and they were given a tenement, uh, an apartment um, for free. Um, we also saw um, childcare for working parents. So uh, if your child was too young to go to school, then there was like daycares on site that would take care of the children and again ensuring that they're not in the factories. Um, and then paved streets which were regularly cleaned uh, and then aesthetics when it came to construction rather than economics. When we watched Industrial New York we know that the capitalists who owned the factories also built the tenements that the people lived in generally almost across the street. Uh, however what we see in New Lanark is uh, Robert Owen wasn't concerned strictly with, you know, getting people in the apartments as cheaply as possible because that cut down on his profit. Um, he, in fact, uh, built them to look nice, right? Like they actually cared about how they looked and how they were constructed. It wasn't done to be as cheap as possible. Um, yeah. And as it mentions uh, on site, uh, the people who lived in New Lanark also worked in New Lanark. There was a textile factory. Uh, and a couple of uh, cotton mills and things like that, where the people who lived in New Lanark, they also worked in New Lanark. Now, uh, this slide here shows us what the cities of the Industrial Revolution used to look like. Uh, they're polluted, they're full of disease, um, extremely dirty, right? Cramped uh, living conditions, just not a generally nice place to live. And then on this slide, you can see what Robert Owen's new Lanark actually looked like. It was very, very different. People who, you know, if you took the journey from Glasgow, you heard about this place called New Lanark, uh, and you uh, went to uh, uh, the village, right, from Glasgow, and you would have, you wouldn't have thought this was real. This was so revolutionary. Um, so here we have a quote. Uh, from Robert Owen and I mean I know you guys can read but basically what Robert Owen is saying here is that the world could be better right it doesn't have to be the way that it is and the only thing preventing a much better world uh, as it says here is uh, ignorance right ignorance is what is preventing us from making the world better and uh, here at the Last slide of the video here, um, please check out the embedded link uh, and learn a little bit about our friend Robert Owen. Peace to you guys. Love you all. Check you later.